one book that has changed your life? One book. Just one. Although Sasha right. Black did cheat and have two, so. Right, yeah, I was about to name a bunch. Uh, so, yeah, it's, there's, there's a bunch of good ones. So before I was an author, like I, I used to trade stocks and things like that. So I read a lot of books about finance and things like that. I have a finance degree as well as an English degree. So there's a lot of stuff there that's applicable to the book market because there's a lot of business things that are related and also just the volatility of trading things like stocks or, you know, like crypto now, which is very popular is very similar to the ups and downs that you experience as an author. So with that long winded preamble out of the way, one of my favorite books is what I learned losing a million dollars. I believe that that's the title. And as the name would suggest, it is about a trader who lost a million dollars trading can't remember if it was futures or options or something like that, but it's one of these highly leveraged uh, financial instruments. And it just goes through the thought processes that led to that failure. And it's very similar to failure in any industry where you, you invest too much money into a certain, in this case, commodity. But in our case, it could be a book or a marketing campaign where you're really hoping that this is going to be the one that pays off or you just kind of get a little bit greedy or you stop focusing on the right things and get distracted and stuff like that. So it's a, it's a really good book and most books only focus on success. Success in life is not really the norm. I think, something like 95% of species that have ever lived on planet earth are now extinct. So don't take that percentage as gospel, but it's a lot, you know, like that it, it, life is harsh in that way. And that applies to business and the book market as well. Readers have a lot of choice. Sometimes your books miss the mark. Sometimes they hit them. Hopefully over time, as you gain more experience, you can have more hits than misses or your hits, the magnitude of them and the amount that they make, make up for whatever misses the mark, but you're never going to hit 100%. And it's as much about being able to traverse failure and avoid catastrophic failure. That's really what the book is about because you don't want these scenarios where you just go bust. You need to stay in the game. And maybe there are some years where you don't make as much, but if you keep your expenses low, if you keep learning and you kind of pick your shots and try to funnel your marketing money toward the books that are doing the best stuff that we've talked about, keep writing, then you have a shot at making it and surviving long-term, which is the name of any game. So uh, it's worth checking out if you're an author because it's definitely applicable to what we do and it's an easy read it's not super long so i'll yeah, say that's my recommendation <laughs> very nice